I would like to welcome everybody here to um, Susie and Simon's special day. And um, I must say, when I um, saw her in that dress, I, I almost welled up. You with, did well up. I did well up. Yeah. Okay. I was so proud. I was so proud of her. Simon, we 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 approved of Simon straight away. Calm, soothing, but just the sort of chap that she needed to <laughs> calm her down, calm her down after coming home from work, you know. And uh, somebody, yeah, just uh, yeah. I call him one of the old romantics. Oh. Oh. Do you know, I th I've never known a man spend so much money on flowers. Oh. It got so bad. Um, uh, we used to live in Bruges uh, at one time in a, a big flower market there. And uh, Hilary often used to bring flowers back. And after a while, Susie said, well, oh, mum, don't, don't bring, keep bringing me flowers back. Simon, Simon brings me a new bouquet every week. <laughs> Thank you to all of you, some of whom travel some distance, uh, some local, some from the Midlands, some from the North England, uh, West of England, uh, and including one who's travelled from Russia. So, Simon and Susie, are you both ready to make your commitment to each other? We are. So Simon, do you take Susie to be your lawful wedded wife? Do you promise to be not only her husband, but also her best friend? To be loving and faithful to her for the rest of your life? I do. And Susie, do you take Simon to be your lawful wedded husband? Do you promise to be not only his wife, but also his best friend? To be loving and faithful to him for the rest of your life? I do. From this moment, you create an understanding between the two of you that no one can break. We all hope that your love, trust and understanding of each other will continue to bring you both contentment and joy in your life together and remain constant throughout the years. Simon and Susie, you've given your marriage vows and promises to each other in front of everyone here. It's my great pleasure to announce you are now married. Congratulations. <laughs> They met at the beginning of August 2013 at the uh, back of the Cutty Sark in Greenwich. And some of you may know that in her era she was the fastest tea clipper to cross the Atlantic, which leads quickly as to how quick Simon and Susie's relationship moved on from that moment. They spent many days together going on romantic dates, or if you could call Nando's romantic, <laughs> and just building up as a couple going from strength to strength. Simon moved into Susie's house in Beckenham in the uh, beginning of 2015 and they saved like mad uh, to afford the next chapter of buying the house. They now live in Eltham in 2017, which is simply cool. I stayed there last night, it's just it's gorgeous. So to say I am proud of... <laughs> I'm very proud. <laughs>
Those who know me well are aware there have been times in my life when I've been uncertain and there have been times I didn't quite know where life should take me or how I should get there. Figuring things out can be tough. But I never had to think twice about Susie. With her, everything is so much clearer and makes so much more sense. Susie, if there's anything in this world I'm sure of, it is that I was meant to be with you and today is only the beginning of the rest of our life together. You're so many things to me. You're my best friend, my confidant, my rock, and now my wife. You're my love, my partner, and my family. In short, you are everything to me. You've always wanted to be a princess, and today, in its most fitting of venues, you truly are. And I want to thank you for making this cool jester the happiest prince in the land. Uh -huh.